What's up, heroes? Mike here, bringing you my first build video, Muscle on Rise, focusing on Switz Axe. And I'll be making a, f a few videos for pretty much weapons I like to use. So there'll be another Switch Axe build video I'm working on uh, that's going to be blast focused. But this one is going to be focusing on doing high crit uh, damage as well as great overall attack damage. And based on the Nargakuga weapon uh, called a Knight's Crescent. But let me get into the skills here, the reason why this is so good and gets survivability as well as very good damage output uh so the equipment skills i got is attack boost four uh really helps get that attack up there attack plus five percent bonus plus seven and then you got weakness exploit uh really helps do extra damage to those weak spots on monsters you got the level three um uh, and then stun resistance i got in here level three as well because i cannot stand being stunned by a monster for any point in time to the point where it risks me getting one shot at you know from a monster or just take a lot of damage because my buddy can't knock me out of the stun or a teammate can't so I had to include that and some resistance may be included on most of my builds uh going forward as well and rapid morph in here because of the switch axe having the morph uh in its move set and you're just you're just gonna be doing a lot of this where you're just switching between combos morphing with the weapon to just get the damage you need critical boost two razor sharp two uh critical boost of course for more crit damage razor sharp to just help keep your blade sharper and longer uh critical eye as well to help with the affinity uh adds five percent more to the overall 40 percent affinity latent power is really good uh while act increase affinity by 10 percent reduce stamina to about 30 percent that's very important the stamina in this game and all monster games is really important is more damage you can do is better power for longer because of the switch axe you know having to build up power with it one of those weapons where you gotta have it you know gotta do some chores a little bit to build up power with it it's like this the charge blade and a few other weapons you gotta do that with but this makes it even better though makes it a little bit easier and i feel my center rise does a great job overall with just having weapons overall feel better work better uh towards easier to just build up power with them and speed sharpening is the last one here it's kind of optional you can put this on if you want i did because i want to keep my blade sharp <laughs> and even quicker so you can put something else here i don't know free meal or whatever else you like here it's completely up to you um but let me go into the armor here more so decorations i have so as i've mentioned before knight's crescent is the switch axe weapon i chose from naga kuga we got expert jewel 2 basically for the crit uh almondron headpiece and almondron chest piece uh, on the headpiece i got the quick switch jewel which helps with the rapid morph tag jewel 2 and then for the chest piece steadfast jewel help with stun resistance reference braces with the attack jewel and then scalda for weakness exploit that has two points in that golden Hak hakama if i'm saying it right there with two steadfast jewels to help with the stun resistance so we don't get stunned at all and then talisman wise uh got the windstorm i created uh decided to add a speed sharpening to that that helps with a, a little more weakness exploit but yeah this is what i come up with and i been experimenting for a bit i know this game's been out for a while over a month now so i was just trying to figure out you know what works best for me um and what may work best for you this is overall solid build here and i'll show you how it works on this dummy here all right so for example like with the morph combo that builds up a lot and just did 900 a little over 900 on a uh, hit without well with the pets helping out a little bit too but if you keep hitting though you notice it's doing extra damage because of the power build up and the discharge of that Uh, and this feels great freaking feels great you got the forward overhead slash one of those uh weapon skills i love to use over just a regular forward slash and then this one is just a godsend soaring woven blade oh go in usually does at least 200 damage every time sometimes more but yeah this switch axe build this switch axe in general all the weapons like i said just feel a lot better a lot more fun to use and i just highly recommend this one 
Um, as I said, I've messed around with other types of switch axes, uh, armor pieces to try and mend together. Took my time with this to figure it out, see what I like. And to go for uh, skills, you'll get the forward slash first, but yeah, you want to switch to the forward overhead slash. Compressed finishing discharge, you'll get later on. Finishing discharge, you unlock first, but it's just not as good as compressed finishing discharge. I mean, unless you want to use this, that's up to you, depending on your play style. And then lastly, your soaring Wolverine war Blade. Uh, definitely a lot better than Invincible Gambit, in my opinion, as you saw there. So, and this is why I recommend. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'll be doing more builds. I'll be bringing a blast build, uh, switch axe blast build, because of recent update uh, with Teostra that came. So, look, got that to look forward to, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, this was helpful. If it was, drop a like, comment below. You know your type of builds that you like to mess around with with the switch axe, uh, because this may be something you're doing that's different from mine. And I will see y'all next time. Take care.